Hello everyone, welcome to beer review number five of Bellevue Beer Reviews. Today I will be doing a review on a gift that was given to me as a gift for gradu graduating college back in December. In case you're wondering, I graduated with a degree in visual communication technology from Bowling Green State University, a bachelor's of science degree in technology. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get to the beer. I'm gonna be reviewing <coughs> Clown Shoes Extremely Angry Beast. And what this beer is, it's a big imperial stout aged in a variety of barrels. And the description is how do you create an extremely angry beast makes one part bourbon barrel aged Blakehorn Unidragon, one part bourbon barrel aged undead party crusher, and one part rum barrel aged hammer of the holy, then add a massive dose of incendiary rage. So, I mean, look at that label. That is just ridiculous. If that's not an angry beast, I don't know what is. Beer clock's in at a big 12%, so looking forward to this one. Looking forward to seeing how the barrels come out of this, but. Let's crack it open. You can already smell it. It's pretty intense smelling. Oh wow. Yeah, it smells really great. So let's put our nose in it then and check out the aroma. Just a lot of booziness and some some chocolate, some definitely some chocolate going on. I think it's okay. My bad. What's the, okay? I'm getting a lot of that rum barrel. So like I said, there's some chocolate. Not a lot of bourbon barrels. I'm getting some of that rum barrel, though. Maybe some vanilla. Some roasted malt. Yeah, just a little bit of that rum barrel. That sweetness. I'm getting a sweetness coming out. And chocolate. So, let's dive into it. It's really nice. <clears throat> That's really, really nice. You get kind of that chocolate on the end with a little bit of coffee and up front though you, you don't get a lot of booziness for between 12% and three beers that have been blended together from different barrels you really get that nice wow now I'm now all of a sudden this far late I'm getting some coffee um, but you get a lot of that that rum barrel in the beginning not a lot of bourbon barrels which is kind of weird considering two of the blends that were thrown into this were bourbon barrels not the rum Okay, a little more of the bourbon that time. Not too much, it's more rum than bourbon, at least what I'm tasting. Some of that vanilla, some of that roasted malts, just chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Not so much vanilla, but some of that barrel characteristics. Not really, there's not really oak picked up at all, just some of that little barrel characteristics, some little bit of booziness. Not too much though, I mean, you really can't tell it's 12% beer. It's real light in the body for being a stout of this stature. Um, it's really good though. Definitely, definitely lighter as far as Imperial Stouts I'm gonna give go. this one as far as a rating, I think I'm gonna give it a 93. You know, low A, low A almost A minus. But definitely gonna give it a 93 just because you know it is kind of lacking in the, in the thickness a little bit for Imperial Stout especially being aged in all those barrels I kind of hope for a little more body but really great beer I think this is actually the first beer I've ever had from clown shoes yeah this is definitely the first beer I've had from clown shoes but yeah it's a real nice beer well done clown shoes 93 on the extremely angry beast and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review cheers